All praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rikak Wadash. Double honors to the elder apostles from the great most known who taught us this truth. Peace and salutations to the brothers throughout the four corners of the earth that's doing this work. Like Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai commanded us to do. My name is Milkama. In today's video, you can see on your screen, it has January the 1st, uh, T Mobile. Find customers for text they deem harmful. So I was strolling through uh, IG and I found this and I screen recorded it. So let's let it play so you can hear it. Lord willing, we'll come back with some precepts. And it's at this is truly insane. T Mobile has just updated their terms of service and now. If you post any content they don't agree with, they will fine you. They have an acronym called SHAFT. This stands for Sex, Hate, Alcohol, Firearms, and Tobacco. This is going to be implemented on January 1st, and the fines that they will fine you is in the thousands. I had no idea that we lived in China. Since when does a company get to determine what you are allowed to talk about in a private text message to a friend? This should not only disturb you, but this should make you want to take action. If you have T-Mobile, switch now. And if they are doing this, how long do you think it's going to be before they start fact-checking our text messages? Okay, you can see. Uh, they coming down with uh, uh, this, this freedom of speeches i think that's the vi violation of your your uh freedom of speech as you can see that uh amos uh 8 and 11 is definitely coming and pass you know um uh, so and I've, i i made sure uh well i just typed the same situation uh the same subject on uh youtube i believe i did uh i just think i think i searched it uh in the the search engine and uh, come up with some videos. So, uh, and I got this one video from this channel, Guns and Gadgets, Second Amendment News. And it says T-Mobile new fines for two-way text messages that violates new term of service. So it's showing you that, you know, they listening anyway. Or they, they you know, going through your phone and you know, it really is no privacy, you know, as they claim it is. So I'm about two minute mark. Uh, but she had some better things to say from the beginning. So let's let it play a little willing this head of Hey, everybody, I want to address something that is taking our community by storm right now. And that is the story that's going around is that T-Mobile has quietly updated their terms of service to include fines for content they don't agree with and it will affect our communities. I just spent about an hour on the phone with them and I wanna tell you what I've learned. But first I wanna thank the sponsor of the video and that's Blackout Coffee. Guys, at Blackout Coffee, we want you to welcome 2024 in with a resolution that you'll want to keep. Ditching woke coffee companies and their low quality roasts. They're well, let's get about they won't see it on their end in their computer until it goes into effect. Again, this is alleged. Okay, let's go back a little bit. Speak with several representatives and super, uh, but uh, on many of the major uh, provider sites like bandwidth.com and Think and Vonage and stuff like that. So they have it. So I'm thinking that this is legit. However, I will say I did just speak with several representatives and supervisors on in, in T-Mobile and they will neither confirm nor deny, mainly because they won't see it on their end in their computer until it goes into effect. Again, this is allegedly taking effect on January 1st of 2024. So I'm gonna read you this document right here on the screen. And this is right from bandwidth.com. You can see the title it says, new A2P non-consumer non-compliance fees beginning January 1st. This is why I'm doing this video. Folks are, rightfully so, worried in posting videos and, and posts that their text messages are going to result in fines up to $2,000 from T-Mobile. I want to calm people down in the immediate. This is for 
non-consumers, which means not us, the ones who, I don't even have T-Mobile, I have AT&T, but uh, people who have individual accounts, it's not for you, it's for companies and corporations. I'll explain it here from bandwidth support. What's happening? Beginning January 1st, 2024, T-Mobile is instituting three new fees for non-compliant A2P traffic sent by non-consumers that will result in a severity zero violation. A SEV zero represents the most harmful violation to consumers and is the highest level of escalation with which a carrier will engage with bandwidth. This applies to all commercial, non-consumer A2P products, meaning SMS, or MMS short code, that's text messaging, uh, toll free and 10 DLC that traverse T-Mobile's network. Non-consumer is a business, organization or entity that uses messaging to communicate with consumers. Examples include, but are not limited to, large to small businesses, financial institutions, schools, medical practices, customer service entities, nonprofit organizations and political campaigns. Non-consumer also includes agents, representatives, or any other individual acting on behalf of non-consumers or sending messages over a non-consumer platform. The non-compliance fines in US dollars will be assessed for every SEV zero violation issued as follows. Tier one will be a $2,000 fine for each violation of phishing, smishing and social engineering and social engineering refers to the practice of targeting individuals in a way that manipulates individuals to reveal private information like credit card numbers or social security numbers tier two is a thousand dollar fine for illegal content included content must be legal in all 50 states and federally and illegal content includes but is not limited to cannabis marijuana cbd illegal prescriptions and solicitation Tier three is where the Second Amendment community needs to pay attention. A $500 fine for all other commercial messaging violations, including but not limited to SHAFT. And SHAFT is an acronym that stands for Sex, Hate, Alcohol, Firearms, and Tobacco. It outlines the categories of text messages specifically regulated due to moral and legal issues and is monitored and enforced by the Cellular Telephone Industries Association or the CTIA and their mobile carriers. So, again, $500 fine for all commercial messaging violations, including but not limited to shaft that do not follow federal and state laws and regulations. Please review the T-Mobile Code of Conduct Section 5 for prohibited content. Okay, that's what I have, and I... So, it's really saying it's for commercial uh, users, but you know, you know, it, it, now it's a lot of brothers that have, you know, their own uh, business, you know, the, you know, the LLC is the, you know, the new way of, uh, uh, you know, it's well, not a new way, but it, it's been getting uh, a lot of traction, you know, as far as uh, uh, so-called blacks, Hispanics and, uh, you know, Native American uh, community. So what they so-called community, but, you know, uh, as far as us as a people, you know, we pretty much been kind of doing, trying to do it on our own instead of going in and clocking, clocking in, you know. But, and you know, if you happen to send, you know, some uh, this shaft type of uh, information through your, your one of your business phones and, you know, you know, and not complying with it, you know, not not remembering what, you know, what phone you're on, you know, that's, that could be a, a possible fine, okay? So eventually, you know, you know, America's going to cut everything out anyway. You know, this is just another step towards their uh, new world order. You know, uh, you're going to be, how's, how's the saying go? You're going to be uh, broke and you're going to love it some to the extent, uh, but you're going to be poor and you're going to love every minute. I can't remember exactly what it has, uh, you know, worded it. But, you know, it's just Esau being the damn devil as usual. So let's get uh, let's get a, a precept and, uh, and we'll end it. You know, the precept uh, quoted uh, in the book of, uh, what was it? Uh, is it Amos 8 and 11? Okay.
This is the book of Amos, chapter 8, and verse 11. It says, Behold, the days come, said the Lord God, Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a, a, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Most High. Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. So, you know, uh, you know, our brothers uh, send different uh, text messages and, you know, things that are posted on our IG and so on and so forth. You know, that it's going to eventually uh, regulate uh, through social media also instead of just, you know, um, with the, the, you know, the, you know, the bandwidth. The different platforms, you know, that that's that's coming. Okay. Uh, so that's pretty much all I really wanted to touch on, you know. Hey, like I said, through the spirits, just seem like every day is something major. You know, it's a life changing event. You know, and a lot of things, a lot of laws, they change when everybody's not really paying attention. You know, different uh, what you call uh, holidays. You know. And I'm pretty sure some wickedness was going on when they were so-called celebrating uh, Christmas, okay? When the uh, uh, the masses of people were celebrating Christmas, they were probably uh, uh, passing some laws at that point in particular time also. So, you know, it's, I'm pretty sure at the beginning of the year, uh, so-called New Year's, it's going to be some more legislation past you know to help forward their agenda which you know we do we know through the the spirit and power you how about shimmy i was shy he's gonna you know uh upset you know their their way of 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 doing things you know they're gonna get so far and the lord is gonna you know upset prophecy you know uh, uh on, on their end you know but you know the devil ain't gonna upset prophecy that the lord is uh, uh make happen you know uh you know but that's pretty much it so uh with that being said we're gonna push on to the next time shalom